Hey guys, my name is Hirin and this is Double H. It's been 4 years since Gear S3 Frontier has been released. So is it even worth buying? Well, that's the question we're gonna be answering today. So let's get into it. The Gear S3 is powered by Exynos 7 Dual 7 270 chip. 768 megabytes of RAM, a 1.3 inch Super AMOLED display, 360 by 360 resolution, 380 milliamp hour lithium ion battery, it weighs around 63 grams, it has Gorilla Glass 3, an IP68 dust and water resistance, stainless steel frame, it also supports Qi wireless charging, and things like Wi Fi, NFC, and it also has heart rate sensors. Okay, so the specs don't meet up to the latest smartwatches like Apple Watch or watch active but still it is worth considering so what do you get from this watch that has been around for four years even though this watch is almost four years old its software still holds up and i have never seen any kind of lag in it the screen resolution isn't much high it is a 360 by 360 resolution screen so you can probably see the pixels individually only if you keep looking for them but i don't think it's a big problem like you don't really see it when you are casually looking at it. The screen is pretty wide and can be seen easily in outdoors. If you go out, it automatically changes the mode to what it calls an outdoor mode. So what it basically does is it changes the brightness to the maximum and you cannot change it, that's the one problem. Talking about customization, you can change the watch face from the Galaxy App Store. You can download a lot of watch faces using either the application on your phone or you can directly download it from your watch that is. Also, in case you need to change the appearance of your watch, you can also change the strap. Let's talk about the battery. So the watch has a 380 mAh battery. It will last you for about one or two days depending on your use. If you are a heavy user, it will last you about a day. Charging with the Qi wireless charger that you already got with the watch takes about two and a half hours. The Gear S3 Frontier has a very rugged look to it which I personally like. If you do want to change the appearance you can change the strap and make it look well any way you want. Also the Gear S3 has a bezel that Samsung has really removed from their new watch series. It is pretty good I guess. It can be used to navigate around the user interface. I guess it is kind of helpful. So the major downsides for buying this four-year-old watch is that you get a low quality haptic feedback, a lower resolution screen, and also you won't get you won't be getting much software updates. Actually, almost none. So in India, the Gear S3 Frontier costs 18,000 rupees, and the watch actual is also at the same price level. So the reason I picked this watch is because it looks better and is a bit bigger than the watch active so by that we come to the question so should you buy this watch it depends on you because it depends on what kind of features you want in a watch and what kind of features you totally hate to be in a watch so there are a lot of watches in this price range and if you like the features that are given in this watch then you might want to buy this one in my case the gear sd frontier is the best watch for me i do like using it the best way to get it will be second hand because so if you do get a second hand gear s3 frontier that would be a great deal get it as low as possible because i think the 18,000 price tag is kind of a bit too high that wraps this video up guys and if you want more content like this subscribe to my channel if you like the video press the like button and i'll see you guys in the next video